Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Chandrika, an IT analyst in TS Info Technologies. In this video tutorial, so we are going to see filter query examples on the get items. Log into the Power Automate with your Microsoft credentials. And I have, uh, I was going to explain all these examples in the manually trigger flow. So let's take the manual trigger here in the flow studio. So let me show you my SharePoint list that I will connect to the and this is the SharePoint list that I will connect to the Power Automate flow. In this SharePoint list, there are different columns like employee ID, employee full name, and project work, project status. There are different columns in this SharePoint list. Now I will show you the example of Power Automate Get Items Filter Query. Now let's see the first example that is Power Automate Get Items Filter Query Null. In this SharePoint list, I wanted to filter and fetch those items that has null values in the employee full name. So let's go back to the Power Automate flow and uh, let's create the flow here. Under the trigger, I was taking the get items flow action. In the get items, select the site address and the list name first name. And when we click on the show advanced option, it will show all the advanced options of get items. In that filter query option is there is an option that is available in the power automate get items and get rows which is used to filter the data that is based on the specific filter conditions before giving the condition in filter query let me show you the operators that we can use in filter query these are some of the operators that we can use in the get items flow action filter query so let's back to the power automate flow in in the filter query condition, we have to assign internal name of the list column. So we are filtering the data based on the employee full name. So we have to take the internal name of the employee full name. For taking the employee full name internal name, we can take it from the list settings or we can also sort from A to Z or Z to A. And in the URL, we can find employee full name internal name that is next to the sort field is equals to so copy the internal name here and come back to the power automate flow and paste the internal name after that give the space give the operator that is equals to here i wanted to filter the sharepoint list that is based on employee full name is equals to null so we have given the operator and type null the null should be provided without the single quotes or else it will give the error in the flow the filter query condition is ready and now let's take the create html table to display the filtered items create html table i was taking create html table in the from section we can take the value from the dynamic content that is retrieved from the get items and click on show advanced options we can customize the table here for that select custom and in the header i was only giving the two column names that is employee id employee id and select here the value of employee id from the get items the employee id is the title column that i have renamed it to employee id so i will take the title column here and the next one is enter employee full name in the header section and take the value from the dynamic content of get items for displaying of null values here i was giving no name in the section of employee full name so if there is no name then it will take no name in the employee full name value so the flow is ready now and click on save and test the flow manually select the radio button manually here in the test flow window and click on test now open the create html table so now we can see there are three items in the sharepoint list that have the null values in the employee full name those are these three items if you wanted to fetch the items excluding the null values we can give the not equals to operators for the null S value represents with the checked box and no values represents with the unchecked box. As we can see here, this is the S or no column. Is project completed is the S or no column. The checked, one, the checked one will represent for S value and unchecked one will represent for no value. This example I will perform by taking 
by taking the two columns that is project status and is project completed so let's go back to the power automate flow and in the power automate flow letting the filter query condition the s values will represent as true and no values will represent as false in the power automate flow but while giving the filter query condition we shouldn't use s or no or true or false in the filter query condition value as 1 for true and 0 for false so for giving the filter query we need internal name of the column for taking the internal name I will go to the SharePoint list again as the same way. Let's take the internal name of is project completed. This is the internal name. I will take this one, copy this and go back to the Power Automate flow. Paste the internal name space space equal to operator and provide zero for false values and along with this i will take end because i was filtering based on two columns for that i was taking end condition after that i need internal name of another column that is project status take the project status internal name similarly go back to the power automate flow paste the internal name of project status and is equals to operator after that we have to provide the value within the single quotes i will take the value as average this is the filter query that we are giving for the boolean values and open the html table in the create html table i have taken the values of is project completed and the values from the get items of the dynamic content and project status from the dynamic content so let's save and run the flow again when open the html table we can see there is only one item that satisfied the condition with is project completed as false and project status as average so now let's see the one more example of power automate get items filter query with the condition starts with now I filter the SharePoint list item based on employee full name starts with the alphabet. So go back to the Power Automate flow and open the in the filter query give the internal name of the employee full name. In the filter query provide starts with open bracket provide the internal name comma within single quotes. I wanted to filter employee full name based on the J alphabet and close the single quote and close the bracket. So my filter query is ready and in the create HTML table I have taken the header employee full name manually and the value that is taken from the get items of dynamic content. Now save the flow and test it manually. Test select manually and test the flow now open the create html table we can see the starts with function has retrieved the sharepoint list item that starts with the employee full name with alphabet j this is how we can use the filter query option of get items in power automate to filter the data which has the bulk items in the sharepoint list if you are interested, you can also go through the blog post that I have written based on the Power Automate Get Items filter query. So you can you can see the description box there. I will provide the link for the blog post. And, and for more free video tutorials on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI, like, share and subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you.